Uh, hey, beautiful. Want to watch a TV show with me? No, not really. Uh, it'll be good, I promise. Nah, it's alright. Oh, don't you trust me? What? I said, don't you trust me? No, you watch a lot of shit shows. Oh, well, screw you, we're doing it anyway. Alright. I can show you a place where everything is Disney. Tell me, kitty, can you see a land of TV shows filled with originals? Goof Troop, Recess, and DuckTales. But then, due to the sales, they made one on Aladdin a whole new show, a new adventure. Against all new foes, it'll come to blows, but the day will always be safe. A whole new show. I can't believe I never knew that time they fought Mirage and sound a barge. I'll have to watch this whole new show with now you. Now I'll watch this whole new show with you. Unbelievable. Fights, magic used by the genie, action, adventure, and meanies like a small and a rude, a whole new show. You I can't believe they you fought zombies. I like that psychopath named Mozendra. He nearly beats Aladdin. A whole new Shows the surprise. With three Every moment gets better. I'll, I'll watch them the anywhere with the, with the one, one I care. care. Let me share this whole new show with you. A whole new show. A whole new show. That's what we'll watch. That's what we'll watch. Everyone. They should be. With you and me. Disney have always been about making cartoons to entertain people, and long before they had their own channel, they used to have a thing called Disney Afternoon, and here in Australia it was called Saturday Disney, where they would run the shows that they wanted. So many hit shows came out around this time based on original ideas or comics or on established characters like Mickey Mouse. In the early 90s, they decided to add cartoons based on their popular movies as well. In order to test the waters, the first few episodes were usually bundled together and called a movie, even if it wasn't really, but whatever. The Little Mermaid was the first to get a show, and this had enough success that many others soon followed, including Aladdin. With those 85 episodes I mentioned in the series, the show focuses on Aladdin and the gang, as they fight nasty bad guys, fix problems, and sometimes even cause them. Each episode is different, but there is a basic continuity to the show. When they first meet Mechanicles, for example, they have no idea who he is, or what his MO is, for that matter. But by episode 50, when they have fought him a few times, whenever they see a mechanical bug or thing causing destruction, then they know who is behind it. Each episode usually starts just before the action, or even during it, to set the adventure off pretty quickly. Rarely is there a slow opening or build-up, then who Whoever is the focal character for that episode has to be defeated or outsmarted and then they have to learn a lesson or come up with a good idea in order to save the day by the end. The formula is true no matter which character is the focus, Genie, Iago, Aladdin, it doesn't matter, it's all the same, but they do play off the strengths and weaknesses of those characters in order to make it a little bit more interesting. One thing I will praise about this TV show is that they got the majority of voice actors back once again to play everybody, so Aladdin is still played by Scott Weiner, it's fantastic, it gives us great continuity between everything, it's absolutely phenomenal. And Dan Castellaneta returns as the Genie like he did in Return of Jafar, also from Return of Jafar. Uh, Abysmal, played by Jason Alexander, returns, and he is accompanied by a character named Harood, played by James Avery, or Uncle Phil, because no one knows <laughs> anything else. Oh, maybe as the Shredder, I guess, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So he plays Harood, and Harood is one of the better uh, villains of the thing, as he's the deadpan, really smart one, and he is 
actually number two to Abysmal, which doesn't make any sense because he's clearly the smarter and the better uh, bad guy. But um, he always outsmarts and he outdoes um, Abysmal and makes him do all the dirty work because he doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> he just wants to get the spoils and he knows he can control this guy. He's actually really fun. There are a few famous actors that do one-off episodes as well, like Ron Perlman does a bad guy, Tim Curry does a bad guy. God, I love him. And there's also some famous people that do uh, recurring bad guys, like Baby Newworth does Mirage. If you ever watch my faculty review, she was in that. Um, Jonathan Brandis, who was from my IT review, if you remember that, he plays Mosenrath, which is considered by just about everybody to be the best villain of the animated show, and I agree. He is just as good as Aladdin is. <laughs> he's just like, he's as competent, he's as smart, he's as cunning, he's as evil. Oh no, I guess he's the opposite of the <laughs> Aladdin with the evilness. Um, and he matches Aladdin every step of the way, and it's really fun to watch him. Being a TV show, there are a lot of stories, with some that are clearly better than others. Personally, I'm not a fan of the episodes that are focused on Iago. In small doses, I don't mind him, but the show just seems to use him so much, especially episodes focused on him. One that I didn't mind was an episode called Foul Weather, which uses the anti-hero status of Iago to good use. He betrays the heroes to work for the bad guy, only for it to be a trick, and betrays the bad guy in order to save the day. But that is the only episode that I consider to be one of the ones that is good. Other episodes don't don't use his personality to good use, and most are just boring or annoying, so I don't like them all that much. Whenever the other characters have the focus, it can go either way, like whenever the genie has the focus, it's full of wacky and over the top things from the genie, which in and of itself can either be fun or outright annoying, but they are usually a bit more on the creative side with the story and animation, but that doesn't mean the stories are all good. One episode that I think is very creative is called Never Say Nefir, which has the gang visit a city that is destroyed every night and then rebuilt throughout the day. The reason for its destruction, however, is a dancing hippo. Yep, that's just totally normal. And then Genie gets possessed by the same magic and has a dance number with him. It's very creative and fun, but the rest of the episode could have used some work. The episodes themselves have such varying quality where some are really well done and then others aren't. And watching the whole series through, it was very jarring to say the least to have one episode be really fun and then the next episode being really bad. And I think it's mostly with the way that they handle the characters. While they are based on their movie counterparts with Genie and Iago based on Return of far as opposed to the original Aladdin, most of the characters don't feel like themselves half the time. Like with Aladdin, sometimes he can be really headstrong or really silly or sometimes he's really smart and sometimes he doesn't know what he's doing, sometimes he does. And it's just this inconsistency with the character himself that is really annoying and all of the characters go through this. At one point Jasmine is a complete badass and she takes care of herself and then another point she's all about fashion because she's a woman, I guess guess and they had to have a plot where they talk about fashion uh, which is one of the crappy episodes to say the least um, this flip-flopping of the characters in order to suit the drama is so annoying and that drama is also exemplified between Aladdin and Jasmine there are some episodes that put a, an obstacle in between them that they have to overcome together and that can be very very good at times and then at other times very very stupid uh, sometimes like the one that I just mentioned where she is all into fashion and she wants Aladdin to dress nicely and then there's this big hot-headed fight between the two and it just feels very very out of character because movie Aladdin probably wouldn't ever had had that fight he like got dressed up as a as the prince already like it's not like he doesn't like the nice clothing he just couldn't afford it but whatever um, and there's other episodes before this where he was wearing nice clothing and he never made a mention about it it was just one of these things it's just really annoying and all of the characters go through this and that's I think just the fact that this doesn't handle the characters well it doesn't keep them consistent and it doesn't use the movie as a basis that it should have makes each episode feel that inconsistent when they got the characters right the episodes are usually better when they got the characters wrong the episodes usually suffered. And it's for that reason why I think Genie is the worst character of the show. He has semi-phenomenal, nearly cosmic powers because instead of having the full powers that he used to have as a Genie, because he was freed, his powers have diminished. That's fine, they needed to rein him in somehow in order so he doesn't have this deus ex machina, I 
can fix any problem because I've got magic syndrome. Otherwise, every episode would be fairly boring or they would just try and get rid of the genie in some way or the other. So they've changed his status of his powers and then they changed his personality. They stuck with the return of Jafar one where he's sort of this bumbling fool. Most of the time that he is on screen, Aladdin has to tell him what to do in order to save the day. He'll be like, Genie, we need rain. Or Genie, how about you strike this guy down with your massive strength? Or Genie, can you lift this? And then he does it. He doesn't come up with a lot of these ideas himself. He follows Aladdin or Jasmine sometimes as ideas. And it's really strange and frustrating. And then when he does follow their ideas, he tries to make a joke about it. So sometimes it takes a really long time for him to get to whatever he was going to do. Or sometimes he misinterprets them and they're like, oh, Janie, we need water. So then he'll turn into like a water bottle or a bucket or something and it's not enough. Uh, there's one time where they said, we need rain. And he watches Bambi, um, because it is Disney, which is, I guess, one of the funnier jokes, um, arguably. He watches Bambi, and they're fighting the bad guys, and they're having crazy times, and it's like, Genie the Rain! And then it cuts back to him, and it's watched, because he's watching Bambi, gets up to the point where Bambi's mum dies. And because of that, he just starts bawling his eyes out, and that causes the rain. Um, it's all like this. There was one episode where they said we need uh, um, a lightning conductor because there's all lightning coming down. And so he turns into a normal conductor. At first he goes through all different people associated with lightning like Edison and Tesla and different people like that. Um, in order to, in order to show, like, I guess, a brief history of lightning, and then he turns into a music conductor, which then gets struck by lightning. And I know this is played for laughs, but I just found it really annoying. Where he was this person that had wise wisdom, and he was trying to get Aladdin on the right track, and not being such a, a street rat bad guy to be himself. He's just so stupid. And there's so many times where they didn't know what to do with the genie, so they just put him in a bottle. They gave him this uh, this thing where he can't get out of bottles, just like when he was stuck in the lamp. And that weakness of his is how they get rid of him in so many stories, just because they didn't know what to do with him. And it's just so bad. And they had to use him because Genie was one of the things that brought people to the movie. He was probably the famous part of the movie. So they had to have him in the TV show or else. So it's just shoehorned into every episode and then his character wasn't correctly done and it's just poorly handled most of the time. There are some times where I did laugh at stuff that he said and there are some times where his over the top um, animation was fantastic. It just wasn't consistent and more often than not just was bad. The jokes in the show are hit and miss as well. There are plenty of slapstick moments in every episode, with the genie and Iago being the butt of most of them. When in doubt, hurt the bird was one of the things the producers said and it's clear that they followed this often. He gets shocked, burnt, hurt and transformed, but then he still manages to get out okay. While the genie takes more punishment, he is usually alright because he's magical so psh, he can walk it off. There is also a lot of written humour, some of which is aimed at kids, but there's some that is actually really funny and game a good laugh because it was clever writing. Like when the group find a hidden town full of talking animals and Aladdin is amazed and tells the genie and the genie replies with, what, like a Yago? Because it's not exactly special that these animals talk, Yago does it all the time. Or when Aladdin is accused of stealing something and denies it and genie says, well once upon a time, Al. <laughs> or when a crappy thief is trying to escape Aladdin and he says all the lines from the one jump ahead song from the first movie. It's a nice contrast because he's trying to get away from Aladdin. Aladdin. But what are our heroes without some bad guys? I've already mentioned Abbas, Mal, and Harood and how like I just like them so much. Uh, there's also a reoccurring character called Mirage who is depicted as a very crazy bad guy when she first comes into the picture as she's like the chaos and she's going, she's like evil incarnate and all that kind of stuff. But she's pretty weak and she doesn't really do much. Every time she comes back she's just sort of does some things and puts some stuff in the way and it's like oh man as somebody that's supposed to be evil incarnate you should really 
really uh, try harder in this. There's also Mechanicles, who has an annoying voice that uses mechanical objects in order to kill people. He is a bit eh, all over the place. But the best villain of the bunch is Mosin Wrath, of course, because he is so much fun. As good as Aladdin is, Mosin Wrath is just as evil. And the opening episode that has him in it, uh, Iago's giving some backstory about uh, Mosin Wrath, and he's like, if this guy conquered the Black Sands, that makes him the most evil person in the world, because even Jafar couldn't do that. And then you find out, and you meet this kid, and he's the same age as Aladdin, which is supposed to be like early no, early 20s, maybe late teens or something, I don't really know. And you're like, holy crap, if this guy can master Black Sand, and he's supposed to be better than Jafar, oh. And then he lives up to it too, because he does put uh, the, uh, the entire gang into perilous situations, and he does almost win every time. The only reason why he does lose is because he underestimates somebody and he doesn't uh, have the power of friendship. Yeah, the power of friendship. Because Aladdin has this group of people that like him and are always fighting with him, they get out scrapes because they work together, whereas Mosenrath always works by himself or sometimes or with his little Xerxes um, flying... Um, eel thing, I don't know what it is. Uh, so they, they're best friends. But aside from that, he has nobody with him. There is an episode where Mosenrath captures Aladdin and Jasmine, but then he keeps Aladdin in order to use him as a bargaining chip in order to get the genie, the true treasure that he's after. So he sends Jasmine off to make the deal, and Aladdin's all like, nope, you shouldn't have done that. Jasmine is a badass, and she's totally gonna kick your butt. And he's all like, it's just a woman like how can that ha how can that do that and throughout the rest of the episode uh, whenever it cuts back to Aladdin and Mosenrath uh, Aladdin is just saying like Psh. Yeah, Jasmine's gonna kick your butt. She's super awesome. And he's all like, nah, it's just a woman. And then he sends out things after the after the good guys. And, of course, Jasmine beats them all up. And she finally gets to Mosenrath. And she kicks his butt. And she's all like, what? And Aladdin's like, see, I told you so. Uh, it, it's one of those great things. It's one of those great moments where they got the chemistry of all the characters correct. They showcase Jasmine doing something really heroic for a change. Because she doesn't have as many heroic moments in the series as say Aladdin does and it's just one of those cool episodes and it was a lot of fun at the same time. One of my favorite episodes is called The Flawed Couple where Mechanicles and Abyss Mole team up to stop the group. Team ups don't happen in this show and they don't waste the potential here when they finally did it. There are so many jokes at both of their characters and how they're always foiled and their character traits. The humor doesn't stop there either because they then change the mood of all the heroes as well and it's just so much fun. Like Jasmine has envy and the stuff she says is just ridiculous like I wish I was plummeting to my death when she sees the other people plummeting to their death it is easily one of the better episodes with humor and action as you may have noticed the animation is honestly not that bad it's slightly worse than Return of Jafar and some of the animation is crummy but overall it's pretty solid and good for its time when it came out also the music is taken straight from the first movie soundtrack with a few songs added in every now and then which makes it feel part of the movie though some of the music doesn't quite fit, it is still good. Also, just a pet peeve is that the episodes weren't aired in order, and they actually do have some continuity to them. Whenever a character comes back for a future episode, it does continue the story of where they left off, even if it's just as small as the group remembering them. The problem here is that the actual episodes are out of order, so there are times where they will meet a character like the Forseer for Seer and say hi, and they're like great old pals. Then 20 episodes later, they we see see how they met. Or when the Gallifrey Queen wants to go on a date with the Sultan because of his heroics in their land, which we actually see about 40 episodes later. Whilst these don't ruin the episodes at all, it does annoy the crap out of me because I like to watch things in order. In my opinion, the Aladdin TV show is smack bang right in the middle with kind of not worth it, worth it? I don't know what to call this because the show itself is actually fairly good. I would watch any episode that came on television because they are a lot of fun. And even though a lot of the humor is aimed towards kids, I don't mind that because it is supposed to be a children's television show. I think where I went wrong is that I marathoned this show. I watched like 
all 85 episodes over the span of a month and it's just been so much and I just got so fatigued with the show because a lot of the show does have a sameness to it. Each episode starts with a giant clash and then each episode has a focal character that has to go through something or another and yes some episodes are better than others so when you sit through a bad one you just get a sour feeling for the next episode and that's not what you want when you're watching this show so I can't recommend watching the entire series in the way that I did but I don't want to say that this show was not worth it at the same time um, the animation is fairly good, the humor is up and down but like I said I would watch it if it was on television so in my recommendation, I would say check out at least all of the Mosenrath episodes and any episodes that I mentioned here like, uh, damn it, oh damn I don't remember them already. Um, but yeah, check out the Mosenrath episodes and any of the other ones that I said that I liked because, you know, they're good. Or even just go onto IMDB and just watch the, like, top... 10 or 15 highest rated episodes because you really do not need to sit through all 85. So tell me about the Aladdin TV show. Well, did you watch it? Did you not? Did you even know about it? Because this is one of the shows that I used to watch as a kid. So when I was watching through all the episodes, I surprisingly had watched about a third of them already. So I already knew some of the things. And uh, it did annoy me that when I sat down to watch it properly, that it was out of order. Um, damn it. Ugh. I hate that. I, I really like continuity um, and it's just not continuity for no reason which is very frustrating. Uh, <laughs> so that sucks. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you guys thought and don't forget to psych and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Genie is done by Dan Castellaneta still just like in Return of the uh, Jedi. Damn it, Return of the Jedi. <laughs>